So a company, well, this is company. Company sees future interest. All right, because bond is issued, for example, for five years. So when is giving you the interest that is called coupon. So it means company lock its interest to the coupon rate for five years. And in five years, anything can happen. So coupon rate is based on future outlook of interest pattern. So when company issued the bond, there are two types of interest rates. First is coupon. Remember coupon interest rate is the interest rate, which is, let me change the color here, which is, given on bond face value all right face value if coupon is 10 percent it means the people who are holding the bond they are getting hundred dollar every year for the five years all right and the other interest is called market rate interest or bank rate interest. All right. So whatever the bank is giving, for example, bank is right now giving giving you eight percent. All right. Bank is giving the interest rate 8% and this company is giving you 10%. Think in terms of demand and supply. More people rush to buy companies bond if the company is good. I'm not talking about the risk of the company. Let's just assume that company is good company. Secure company as you know, because banks if you lend, uh, you know, if you save your money with the bank, it's the same as you save your money with the company. So people will rush to buy this bond. Why? Because this bond is giving you higher interest rate. All right. So the price of the bond increases. So did you notice something? That is, if coupon, if coupon rate is greater than the market rate, bonds are issued at premium price. All right. Again. market rate or bank rate is the same you know uh, at this level just remember that these are one and the same thing if market is giving you 12 percent and company is giving you 10 percent so would you buy this thousand dollar worth of bond you will say that it's better if i save my money with the bank because bank is giving me 12 percent and the company is giving us 10 percent so company will decrease the price for example 88 888 so 
दिस इज दी करंट मार्केट प्राइस ऑफ द बॉन्ड ओके इफ बॉन्ड इज फॉर फाइव ईयर आफ्टर फाइव ईयर यू विल रिसीव द प्रिंटेड अमाउंट विच इज थाउजेंड डॉलर बट इफ यू वॉन्ट बाय दिस सिक्योरिटी राइट नाउ इट विल बी गिवन टू यू एज एट हंड्रेड एंड एटी एट वाई बिकॉज दिस कंपनी इज गिविंग यू लेस इंटरेस्ट एज कंपेयर टू मार्केट सो वी कॉल दिस बैंक सॉरी वी कॉल दिस कंपनी एज इश्यूड द बॉन्ड एट डिस्काउंट राइट so which means discount means company has given how much 122 discount and when we issue discounts discounts have debit balance all right discounts have debit balance why because discount is going to be treated as expense increase debit all right so the treatment is like expense so we call this the balance between face value and the price of the bond the discount this 122 is that has debit balance so at the end of the maturity of 5 year company will pay back the owners of a not 88 888000 because the face value is 1000 all right so this is called bonds issued at this time. understand everyone david yeah i understand yes marco miria oliver subhan yep and noon yes five jo palo yes. yes good so let's see one more time the bond issued at premium All right one more time the bond is to add premium so this is a face value now i will write it down as f and the bond is person issued for 5 years if the market rate is yield to maturity or bank rate is 8% right now what will happen people will rush to buy company's bond and demand for bonds rising why because if they invest a $1000 in the market they will get 80 as interest and if they invest in your company they will get 100 at as coupon rate all right so the price of the bond increases for example in our scenario 1015 so the difference between the bond value and the face value here is 15 with all this premium no matter what is the price in the market whether it is discount or whether it is premium at the end of the 5 year that person who is holding this bond will be getting $1000 so in this case case we receive more than the five than the uh, future value uh, sorry th uh, than the face value so we call this premium and premium has 
credit balance. Because we receive more. And remember, all this treatment, whether the bond is issued at discount and bond at premium. All this treatment is only for one time when they are issued. All right? So company will be issuing the bond either at discount or either at premium only for one time. And then company do some accounting treatment for to dispose of this discount or to dispose of this premium. So no matter after that, when company you know issued the bond and what happened so to the bond value in the market, because once the bond is transferred to the public, now what happened to the price? That does not, you know, uh, you know, depends on company's policies and decisions. The price of the bond depends on demand supply in the stock exchange. Company is only giving you this coupon 10%. That's it. And company is taking care of this discount and premium. All right. So let's just talk about the slides here. <clears throat> so here we go. When bonds are issued at premium, remember bond price, prices are above its face value. All right. When bonds are issued at discount, their prices are below the face value. When below the face value, we have discount. Discount has debit balance. Premium has credit balance. So when we're making the journal entries, we write it down debit side, the discount, and we write down credit side as premium. So what we discussed about that, whatever is the price right now, market price decreases towards maturity value. So right now we receive 1015 because this is premium. It eventually goes to 1000 at maturity. No matter we issue the bond at discount, its price will increase 